my name is Anna and I'm the founder of International Doula Life Movement. And I am so happy that you are joining us for our Call to the Doula segment. And today I have Marilyn Longpree, who is one of our graduates from IDLM, to share with you her story. And welcome, Marilyn. How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Um, I'm doing fine. Uh, I graduated, I believe, in March from your March class, and I'm doing well. I'm awesome. moving along in my business and getting things set up and continuing to take some more classes as they're coming along and that are actually uh, going to progress my business and my interest in my business. Oh, wonderful. Let me ask, why did you want to become an end-of-life doula? Um, there are several reasons why. I um, always had a interest in... Um, in death, in dying. Um, there was a class actually when I was in high school on death and dying. Um, I was only one of probably, I think there was maybe six uh, students in that class that had taken that class. Um, and then as I got older, um, one of the things that tugged at my heart was, um, the elderly, um, and my mother and my two sisters followed along in the elderly care, um, but that was not my, my calling, is to actually care for the elderly. Um, I didn't feel that was my calling, but I did have care to, to somehow care for them in some point in time in my life. And when my uncle was on his deathbed, my, uh, there was only six of us at his bedside and two of them was my, um, his brother and sister, myself, and, um, a couple other family members and um, when it came time to actually pull his lifelines and that nobody could actually be there when um, it was actually time to stand by his side when it was time to for his passing nobody wanted to be there um, and I was like there th this is ridiculous nobody his brother and sister didn't want to be there by his bedside. And I'm like, I can't let him pass by himself. So I was the only one there while he was going through the last 15 minutes of his life. And it, it was difficult. It was my first time ever seeing this. Um, and I knew that was my calling. I knew this is what I was, I was meant to do, to be with somebody and help them through their past, through their end of their life and make sure that, that to make it as comfortable as possible for them, because it was not easy for him at that point. I can only imagine how many other family members could be in that situation where, you know, not everybody wants to come um, because it is, it, it is something that, you know, death is something's very scary to many people. And <clears throat> it's so difficult, I can imagine, to see and know that other people go through that. And so I am so happy that you decided to jump in and take this journey so that you can help the people in your community not have to go through this alone. Um, because many patients, you know, they end up going through this alone 
or being, you know, in a hospital setting and not being able to have, you know, all their wishes planned out and have everything, you know, lined up the way they would want it. And having a doula by your side lets you help, you know, we're allowed to be there to help plan, you know, what they want and what they don't want and be that support system to let the family know this is what to expect and you can do this. And, you know, we will be right there with you every step of the way. Um, so thank you for sharing that. What would you say is the reason why you chose International Doula Life Movement? I know there's many choices, but what made you choose? What was your attraction to, to IDLM? Um, well, I'm four years out from my retirement from my career right now. And um, <clears throat> so I'm working full time and I was on Facebook and thank God, you know, for Facebook, because that's where you came up. <laughs> you were happened to be running some kind of promotion and stuff going through Facebook and you had a, uh, had a little, little blurb across on Facebook that came up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to check her out. So I started cruising Facebook and seeing you and, and I was like, you know, I've looked at a lot of them and they just seem so darn expensive. And, you know, so I started comparing and I'm like, you know, she's offering just as much as what everybody else is offering. And I can afford this. I can afford to do this right now. And it's not going to crunch my my, my my checkbook and everything at the same time so I'm gonna do it I can do it right now let's do this I'm not gonna wait any longer so I have nothing to lose so let's do it and you guys are wonderful so oh, thank you <laughs> no and I'm so glad you did because now it's you know I love it because you know I try to work with every student and I want to get to know every student and be able to, you know, have those one on one conversations when we need to have them to be that support person, you know, to help because I feel that a lot of places that I had talked to uh, other students that I had talked to, you know, said that they um, they were missing something. Um, sometimes they felt like when they finished uh, a program that they didn't feel like they had enough support or um, we even, you know, before launching our program here, one of the things I did was I talked to about 30 different doulas around the world who had taken different classes all over. Right. And I asked them, what did you like? What did you not like? And what did you wish you would have had? And so some of the, the modules that we actually cover are some extra modules in there that other students or not other students, but other you know, certified doulas out there. Um, I said, you know, I wish we would have had this module or that module or covered in, you know, this because um, it was a missing piece to the puzzle. And so, and, and I want it to be affordable. I, I was once in that situation too, where, you know, it's like, wow. So we try to still, you know, offer that same amazing opportunity that you can get anywhere else, but we try to keep it affordable you know, whether it's taking our payment plans or, you know, just in general, just making that tuition fee a lot affordable for, for people to be able to do this. Because when I first launched the program and we had um, some scholarships and we had, you know, of course the payment plans, one of the biggest thing that came back to me from a lot of students were, Anna, thank God you did this because I always wanted to take an end of life doula program. I just could never afford it. Yeah. So, I am so happy and grateful and, you know, it has been such a blessing because I've gotten to meet some amazing men and women. And I said, yes, men, because we do have men in our, our, our organization as well. And um, it's, it's been a great blessing getting to meet everybody. And, um, you know, this has been just really, truly my passion is to get out there and to um, be able to help those students, you know, as they graduate and even after they graduate to be there with them. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say was your favorite module through the program and why? 
you know, I really, honestly, I don't think I could say there was one specific module, except possibly the, the very end when we had to do our, our, um, our case study. But I can't really say, because I got to work with the other girls, that was probably the one. But I can't really say that there was one specific um, module, because the whole thing brought knowledge to me. And and got me to think about everything and, and you know, how, how the whole process was. And, and it was just, it was just so informative and, but I would have to say the case study, the very end of it, and getting to work with other women and, and how they thought about things and, and bringing, well, yeah, that's how, you know, getting to see how they got to, getting to see how they understood things to be that you didn't really think about and understanding how, how they brought their ideas to the table and help you understand how they thought about something. Through the, going through your case studies, um, do you feel that that helped you to prepare as a doula to go out there and serve your clients? Yes, very much so. Very much so. Um, I wouldn't mind doing a couple of them throughout the program. Uh, instead of just yeah. one, I think a couple of them would probably... Uh, serve better so you know you could get more feedback from the whole entire group uh, one is definitely good more practice the better <laughs> uh, but I really you know, love the the case studies because that really allows y'all to take everything we've learned in this 12 yes. weeks that goes yep. super quick yep. yeah yeah <laughs> And yep. just be able to take all that information and now you're putting it together and now you can see how that role of the doula works. So yeah, definitely. I have to agree. I love, I have, and I enjoy watching all the case studies too, because mm -hmm. it, it, it really does. You get to see everybody's different thinking and mm -hmm. it pulls you together to think, oh, you know what? That's something I could do too. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. And it just elaborates yeah. and makes you a better doula mm -hmm. out there for your clients. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the more you, the more you, 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 you get to see this, the more you absorb and, and understand. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I just love them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What would you say? I know we give a lot of perks in our program and for our graduates, but what would you say that, which of the perks would be the, that you find more interesting or useful for you in your practice? Consistently being able to go back to the, the, the uh, classes or the, the programs and, and having access to the classes and the, the slides and stuff like that and your continuing educations. Um, I find myself continuing to go back to the slides and stuff, you know, to reference. Um, yes, we can, can, we down, we can download them and everything, but um, I'm also continuing, you know, I'm also, you know, going back and reviewing the, you know, what did she say on that slide and stuff like that? Or, you know, I'm always reviewing, you know, the videos and stuff like that, because I'm like, I remember her saying this, you know, so I'm going back and listening to it again, you know, so yeah, I love I that fact. You, we, I have think it's, lifetime, we have lifetime access to it. <laughs> That's you. right. You get lifetime access to your portal and you can go back and watch the recordings and take any notes or add, because sometimes you never know, like maybe one spot that you're not really working a lot in, you have a client that comes about and you can always go back and reference any of your materials as well. So I'm glad you uh, find that very useful. What would you, well, let me say, did you feel supported throughout our program? And I know you've also taken other programs of ours as well. Always. I always feel supported. Yes. Um, 
always can reach out and ask questions and um, and always getting answers back and um, you know always throwing things out hey I got my cards or, or and stuff like this or and you know getting offered you know you're throwing stuff out on the website and mm -hmm. you know, you're getting at it attaboys and everything like that or if you got questions like I said you can always throw stuff out there and you know if you can get answers back and lots of support yes mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. well let me ask you um would you recommend international doula life movement to others and if so why of course I would always recommend it um in fact I've already recommended it to one <laughs> Um, and why? Because because of the consistency in your program, um, the great educators that you have, they are uh, they are great educators. You guys work with the elderly. You guys have um, great communication. You guys are always always there to support everybody that that needs help you guys are always on task ready oh, to jump you. out always ready to jump out to help anybody that needs help and always reaching out looking for you know right on the website or on facebook if if somebody if you need to do out somewhere else you hey you, do i have a doula out in, well, what was there, one in Maine or something you were looking for a doula? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we always refer out to our alumni. And, yeah. you know, because we do, we get contacted, you know, for different patients that need help. And so um, I'm just happy that I have a place that I can go to and know that we have some amazing doulas out there to go out and help them. Mm -hmm. Before we, we wrap up, let me ask you, what, what advice would you give someone if they were thinking about becoming an end-of-life doula? If, if they were thinking about it, I would definitely have them reach out to other doulas um, <clears throat> and, and start asking a bunch of questions. And, and um, I mean, even if it isn't, you know, with, with our group or whatever, I just, just start asking questions. If they can find somebody in their area, just ask questions and see, you know, if what they're doing is interesting to them, just ask questions and get education on it, you know, get educated on it somehow, you know. Yeah, I always say it's best to, um, this line of work works great if you are called to it, if you have that passion for it, because we're going out, we're meeting clients where they're at, we're not judging them, um, and just just loving them where they're at, loving them yeah. who they are, no matter what you know yeah. their background is and what has happened in their past life. We just want to be there to provide love and support to them and you know be a part of their community so well thank you so much for sharing your experience with everybody and please please feel free anybody out there uh, if you have any questions you can now go to our website and in our course tab you will be able to schedule a one-on-one -on -one informational session with me if you have any questions or you just want to talk and see if this is something that would be for you to do, to help your community, to help others out there um, so that nobody has to go through their end of life journey alone. Thank you, Marilyn, for joining me today and everybody have a beautiful day.